Today, we have a fun staycation, if you will, slash 4th of July slash Timber's birthday getaway. Mm -hmm. And that brings us to Bel Air, Florida, which is just south of Clearwater. And we are going to stay at the Bellevue Inn Inn. It's just Bellevue the Bellevue Inn. Inn. And it's part of the Bel Air Country Club. Mm -hmm. We will show you what the drive was like coming in. And we're going to go see if we can actually get checked in. It's a little early. Check-in's not usually till 4. It's just after 1.30. We had nothing else to do. So we're going to see if we can get checked in. But after this, we'll show you the drive-in because it was very pretty. Mm -hmm. Let's go check it out. It's kind of the road you go on because they've got the Bel Air Country Club over here that you drive by. We have this sign, Bel Air Country Club since 1897 and Bellevue Inn since 1897. Oh, look at this golf course though, it's nice. And then you turn left. And you check in at the little security person up here. The security person was awesome. He said this little, uh, they, you, they ask for your last name and then they have a little parking pass for you because parking is included and then you have to keep it on your dashboard at all times. Wow. First left. First left is what he said? Yeah. First, First left. left. Bellevue Place in Inn. Look at this. Straight. I mean, that's the end right there. So. Oh, yeah, straight in front of us. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll just maybe. Oh, there's probably parking up here on the right. Maybe over here. We'll just park over here, see if they have the room ready. We are going to do our best at showing everything. This video is going to have a lot of information because there's a lot of stuff that comes with your stay here. You also can get a Florida resident rate, just a lot going on. So let's see if we can check in first. It looks like you can go ahead and pull on underneath here just to check in if you want. We just parked over in this little side parking area for now because there's not a lot of people parked there, but um, it's very pretty. Look at this very historical too, which I'm excited to explore. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Check it out. We've done several old hotels. Um, so it's always fun to come visit some more. Look at this view. Of course, they've got the blue paint. What it, what's the paint called? Yes, so that Little bugs think it's the sky. Or spirits. Or spirits. We have Hotel Bellevue, open January 15th, 1897. Henry Bradley Plant connected the West Florida wilderness to the north with an elaborate railroad system, steamships, and luxury hotels. So this is part of Henry B. Plant's hotel. Now we did a tour of the Henry B. Plant Museum in Tampa, and I believe in there it talked about this hotel. So it's all kind of connecting together. It's also very quiet, and they have a Historic Hotels of America sign right there. Beautiful golf course. Two courses? Like I said, this will have a lot of information. Once we get checked in, we'll tell you more. A lot of amenities you get. After 12 a.m., you have to open this door with a room key. Oh, this is awesome. Wow. Cool. Sweet, they had a room available for us. Check this out. Playing all by itself. We are checked in, have a lot of information. 
now for a lot of information. We've got a lot going on here. So we are currently in. This is just hotel information. Hey, it's right here Not, too. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, hotel information. Um, we're in room 307. They put a $75 hold on your card for incidentals, and I think he said the resort fee, because the resort fee is $25. However, that fee includes a free breakfast, which you want to explain the breakfast or you want me to? It is delivered to your room between 6, six and, and seven, 7 in a basket, and the lady at the front desk said that the croissants are fantastic. Yes, and you can take those that basket and go throughout the property wherever you want and kind of have a picnic breakfast. Two is you also get bike rentals. You can also take the bikes in your basket and go have a picnic wherever you want to, which is really cool. Other things, free Wi-Fi, free in-room water, free in-room coffee, free parking, access to the fitness center. I wouldn't say free for any of these things, they're included. I would say though, the breakfast is probably $25 worth of stuff, so then the rest would be free, okay. if that makes sense. Um, pool, towel service, unlimited calls, um, daily newspaper, I said bike rentals, and then one of the coolest things is the Sand Pearl Resort, which is an Opal collection, which is this one. You have access to their beach and you get free valet parking over there. So if you wanna do that, which we won't have time to do that um, this trip, but you would tell them at the front desk and they'll set it up where you can drive over there, get the free valet parking and spend time at the beach. That's the incredible. private beach. Yep, the private beach. Um, as far as the history goes, lots of history. We'll show you one room that they were telling us about. Um, it's awesome. They have a little like cafe in there. Yeah. We'll have to show. She said, feel free to look around, do whatever you want. So I think what we'll do first is go up to the room, show the room, then show the grounds, maybe go to the pool show you the morning breakfast. I don't know if we'll do bikes this trip or not. I haven't decided yet. No, we'll just have to see. It's hot. But um, ours pool is open six to 10. The marketplace is open. Uh, Maisie's Marketplace, which is, we'll have to look it up when we get in the room, but it's maybe Henry B. Plant's grandson's wife's name, something like that. There's a relation there. Open six to eight. And the fitness center is open six to 10. It does say the Sand Pearl Resort Access. Um, you have access to complimentary valet parking, both restaurants, the spa, marketplace, gift shop, and their private beach. We cannot use their pool over there because we have our own. Pretty cool. And then lastly, you do have access to the Bel Air Country Club, and they have a restaurant. And if you want reservations for dinner, you have to talk to the front desk. But there is a dress code, and you will get kicked out if you don't wear the proper attire. They give you this big sheet of dress code items. Um, we won't have time to go over there either, but they do offer that, that you could go over there. We might look at the menu just to see. I'm sure it's very expensive because this is a nice country club. It's hot out here. I think we're gonna go in and check out the room and then do a full tour. As far as pricing goes, I would recommend going to their website. We actually got a Florida resident rate, which is 15% off. And we just got a standard, I think it's a standard King room. They do offer like suites and they also offer pool view rooms, which are a little more. But for the standard room with the Florida rate, it was $219 plus tax. I think it ended up being maybe like 240 or something like that, 250. But for all this and all you get, it's pretty nice. And you're right next to the beaches and can spend time at the beach. We are gonna go in this way. We will come back and explore, but we are gonna head, like I said, right up to the room first. Um, entry was over here on the left-hand side. So when you walk in to the left or straight ahead, like here's the main entry that we showed you earlier, straight ahead is where the elevators are at. And there's Henry B. Plant right there. And a guest book we'll have to sign. I'm not gonna give anything away here. I'm gonna just show you the elevator. We are on the third floor. Ooh. And there's a total of four floors. And we're 307. Does it go up or down? There's 303. 306. 307. pretty this hallway is. All right, let me set our stuff down here. 
So first, before we turn on the lights, we have a view of the entry right down there and of some of the golf course. So the other side is the pool view, which is more, I think it was like, I don't know, 30 or $40, 50, $60 more, something like that. But for our stay, we thought we don't, we don't need to do that, but you can see right down the road. <laughs> Let's show you a tour of the room. And here is the room. I'll zoom out when I get done, but um, they've got this little key. I guess it used to maybe be called the Bellevue Biltmore Hotel. Mm -hmm. It's like a postcard, this old picture of it. Again, lots of history we'll go over, but um, I'll show you at least the room for now. So this is the single king room. So you have a little coffee area and I'm sure the bridge is there. If we zoom out, you can kind of see the layout of the room. Decent sized TV, some storage. Again, that view. Nice big chair. Oh, testing out the chair. That's a, that's a, <laughs> that's a big chair. And if we turn this way, Here's what the room looks like. We'll show you the bathroom. Let me zoom out again. There you have it. Now we do have a closet right here. Some robes. Nice. And then a look at the bathroom. Nice big mirror. And then if we turn this way, it's a nice shower. Look at that. Towel's in the way, but there's a shower. So I was wrong earlier. The Maisie's Marketplace is named after Henry B. Plant's son, not grandson, but his son's Morton Plant's, his wife. So. It was just his son, not his grandson. Let's try a bed test. Oh, it's pretty firm. That is a firm bed. So if you're a fan of firm beds, this one's for you. We do have this Bellevue Inn services. And their website's really good. It tells all this stuff too. So um, over here is the Country Club menu. Actually, it doesn't seem like like overly pricey. I mean, it's the going rate of kind of restaurants these days. I mean, a lobster Key West shrimp and avocado salad is twenty nine dollars. Yeah, it's pretty pricey. pricey. Yeah, <laughs> those were just the appetite, the starters that were decent. Oh, here you go. Look. Oh, that's the wine list. Never mind. Huh? Someone may be looking for that. I'm gonna to try to get this as accurate as possible, but again, I would recommend going to their website because they have all the information on there. There are currently two Henry B. Plant hotels left that are standing. One is the Henry B. Plant Museum, which is now a museum um, located on uh, the in downtown University of Tampa, I believe, mm -hmm. the um, campus. Yeah. We did a tour on that. It was really cool to see. The other one is the Bellevue Inn. So those are the only two left. Henry B. Plant did a lot of hotels, um, railroads, all of that. Next, it says that premiering in 1897, the 400,000 square foot hotel um, constructed of heart pine wood imported from Plant's Georgia estate sat on a 35 foot high bluff overlooking what is now Clearwater Bay. Let's see. While purposely intended to be less elegant than Plant's other nearby luxury hotel, the Tampa Bay Hotel, the Hotel Bellevue was still undeniably resplendent with ornate gingerbread-like details. Let's see, it had um, amenities 
such as steam generated electricity, at least three electric lights in each of its 145 guest rooms, which was unheard of at the time, and a lobby based telegraph and even entertainment from a resident orchestra. It said over the years, the hotel um, became grander. Plant's son, Morton Plant, took over operations after the death of his father in 1899. He painted it white and changed the roof tiles to green, earning the hotel the nickname of the White Queen on the Gulf. He also added an Olympic-sized swimming pool, two 18-hole golf courses designed by the legendary Donald Ross, which are these, still in operation today. It was the kind of Florida golf resort hotel the Tampa and Clearwater area had never seen. So then the sun died in 1918. In the 1920s, the Studebakers, the DuPonts, and the Vanderbilts retreated here. Um, golf course hosted Babe Ruth, Bobby Jones, Walter Hagen, and Joe, Joe DiMaggio. And it was um, still thriving through the Great Depression until World War II when the hotel was requisitioned by the U.S. Army Corps to house troops training at nearby airfields. After World War II, the property was restored and reopened as a hotel in 1947, this time operating under the name the Bellevue Biltmore Hotel, which remained its title until 1991. More notable guests continued to stay, including Jimmy Carter, Gerald Ford, Tony Bennett, and Bob Dylan. Now, there was a period within its time that it says, after celebrating its 100th anniversary in 1997, the property went through a series of ownership changes, which led to its closing in 2009, a result of failed plans for renovations. Um, the economy did not help that until night, it said the hotel was um, actually almost like going to get the wrecking ball. And then in 2016, the new company bought it then it says that um, the wooden floors became slanted and warped. Plaster began to deteriorate and fall. Um, but after that company bought it in 2006, the plan centered around salvaging a three plus story, 38,000 square foot section of the original building that included the lobby and surrounding 35 rooms and restoring it to a new location, 320 doesn't uh, just a mere 320 away on the inner infra coastal that means yards they had to build a new foundation so it says um the new location just a mere 320 away i don't know if they meant yards or feet but pretty close i think they just moved it like just a little bit it says they moved 1750 ton structure which took four hours with 46 computerized dollies and on their website they also have a time lapse of it being moved and then that brings us to where we're at today i know there's some original parts of the hotel the hotel today let's see if it tells but there's just literally so much information in this hotel the pathway that we can see mimics augusta the only difference is we have palm trees and they have magnolia trees. It also talks about some of the paintings downstairs. So let's go finish the tour of the hotel. And then the golf course book says Florida's first golf course. I love how they have all these pictures in the hallways. We are going to take the grand staircase. You hear that piano, which is right down there. So we made it back down to the lobby. This is so awesome. We're gonna go to the right first. Start this way. Surprisingly, it does resemble the Henry B. Plant Museum. Very similar. We have Morton's reading room. Are these all the people that have visited? Look at 
these old pictures. This is so cool. Here's what the other side looks like. There's Morton right there. They've got some books. Morton Freeman Plant. There's a lot of history in here. I love how they uh, let you look at all of it. Got some menus. Oh, here we go, look. The original location. So this one says 400 feet. Original location, then they had to rotate it 90 degrees and move it. So it was in the back, kind of past the pool, so we can go look at that. Babe Ruth card up there. Very cool. They do have an audio tour. That'd be fun to do. Imagine, well, would you like riding a bike in a suit? No, in that garb in Florida, I could. Now, fun fact about this room, what'd she say? This is the Tiffany's stained glass. That's from the original, right here. And? I had a piece of it in there too, did you see it? Oh, I did not see it, I'll have to go back and look. And up there. Just like a little, Oh, this is the event center. You can rent this piece out, I guess, and host certain things. They do a bar cart. Talks about all of this art and that book upstairs. We will go out back well, in a little bit, but back that way is where the original hotel sat. Looks like a nice pool, though, with a hot tub. There's that uh, Tiffany glass right there. There's a piece of the original stained glass from the ceiling of Tiffany room. Original napkin and teapot. Now we're gonna look at the lobby area. Now this painting, Queen of the Gulf, has a lot of stuff, a lot of like Easter eggs in it. And it tells all about it. Oh yeah, Babe Ruth card. Key for the That's an Edison bulb, I think. Oh yeah. I think Edison stayed here. And then um, the Bellevue Waltz was played at the opening of the hotel. And it looks like the, the it's not a picture frame, it's actually painted, yeah, that's cool. which is really neat. So it's pretty much everything from that room because you also have the cigar, this was in there. The Where's the Duke? So they just took, Christopher still took items from in there and included it in this wonderful painting. This is cool. Oh, it's got a guide. There you go. If you want to pause the screen and just check it out, go for it. Another fireplace here. Just a nice little area you can relax and lounge in. Same with the other side, but over here we do have Henry B. Plant's portrait. It's a beautiful lobby. Henry B. Plant portrait. Same thing with a New Day painting. You can actually pick up one of these and learn more about it, but there it is. You can see the train out in front. If you 
feel free to pause the screen and check this out as well. There's the elevator we took earlier. And here's Maisie's. I wonder if they've got, okay, they've got, oh, we do have cups like that. They do have some postcards. I don't think they have a sticker. They've got a nice, look at that, cup. <laughs> some ice cream, some drinks, more drinks. Croissants, we'll be getting those in the morning. And then here's a look at the menu. Cool. More pictures on the wall. Original pool. I can't believe this is the Florida's first golf course. Fitness center. Actually, have quite a bit of stuff. It's not labeled, but this looks pretty original. And then at the very end over here, you've got restrooms and another photo. Let's head outside and see what the pool looks like. We are outside. It does resemble the Henry B. Plant Museum quite a bit. Now the Henry B. Plant Museum was massive and I think this one actually is bigger than what it is right now. When they moved it, they had to, it's not as big as it originally was, but it reminds me a lot of it. A nice green space. That pool is nice. We're gonna kind of walk towards the water. Here's the back side of it. Now, some of those, like I said, are um, sweet. Now, somewhere back in this area, I'm guessing kind of like before the fort goes down because it said it was on a bluff. I'm guessing that's where the original hotel was. Crazy to think it was all, I mean, this one's obviously smaller than the original, but crazy to think it's, it was all back here. Part of the golf course. Looks like the clubhouse. I don't know, there's something there. Something over there. That'll have to be another trip when we're more prepared, but. And then they'll save up some money, yeah, and brought a proper attire. There's the water through there. I'm guessing maybe this was. You have no idea. I'm guessing. I said I'm guessing. But that looks about. Well. Uh, Oh yeah, so it would have been facing like this way, but set over 100 yards, 400 feet, we might be a little, I mean, if 100 yards is football field, so probably around this, yep, all through here. And head to the front, get a picture, look at the front, and then head back inside. Might end up going to the pool because it is a scorcher. So that must be the clubhouse right there. They've got croquet. And is that lawn bowling or something? I can't believe this is the first course in Florida. It said like for 18 holes, it's $175 plus tax. All the trees that are lined up here. Bel Air Country Club. It's really pretty. I think our room's that one right there. With the little bay window. Yep, the bay window, one on the left. 
Maybe that's bocce ball. I don't know, it's something. We are gonna go head down to the pool. If no one's down there, I'll film, but there's been people in it, so probably won't film if there's anybody in it. We're sitting under this like little cabana. cabana. This is our view right here. This pool is nice. The ground's hot right now, but it's like the pool itself is like 90 degrees. It's so nice, so warm. I'm saying 90 some degrees for sure. Yeah, I'd say 90. Yeah, this is super nice. That was some fun times at the pool. We went and ate out. We made it back to the hotel and you can hear the fireworks going off. It also uh, gives us a chance to see what the hotel looks like at nighttime. This is pretty cool. Look at this lighting. Perfect light. This is the perfect lighting. Look at this. Nice little sunset. Fireworks are just right there. I don't know if you can see them with the tree in the way. Let's see. There you go. Pretty cool to be over here over the water because all these places are having different fireworks shows. Over here by the golf course, they had some fireworks all the way around. Not on the actual golf course, just that you could see. We're down over here by like the little marina. Heading back to the room for the night. Look at this pretty lighting on these palm trees. It's the next morning, it's 640, and you can see all the baskets have been delivered. Cool. So the top says, good morning. We hope you have a great day. Ooh. OJ. Apples. Apples and plates with butter and Jam. mixed fruit, yes. Same. Sweet, we're gonna try this. They are correct. It is a very good croissant. 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 We didn't do much this morning other than eat our little picnic in the room. And checkout is at 11, which it's about 10, 15. So we're going to go ahead and check out. Well, that was our stay at the Bellevue Inn here at the first golf course in Florida. Bel Air Country yeah. Club. That's crazy. Um, it was great. Mm -hmm. Really a cool spot. We just got to relax. The pool was awesome. Really nice pool. And uh, the little picnic thing was really... Yeah, that was unique. Yeah, the croissant was great. Mm -hmm. 
if I had to complain about one thing, it'd be there is actually no like just regular restaurant on property. Mm -hmm. Like you do have the one over at the country club, but it's like a really nice expensive one. So if they had one, but it was just like a generic sit down, sit type. down, just medium priced place, that would be a positive thing, but everything else was great. Mm -hmm. No complaints. I would highly recommend coming out and checking this place out. Mm -hmm. It was good. Bed, it. bed was good. Shower was good. Yep. Everything was great. With TV that, channels, eh. Yeah. Yeah. It's just basic cable. <laughs> basic cable. Spectrum. All spoiled. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.